Hey y'all, and welcome to Crafting in the Dark with Unseen Strands, where I, your host, Bo, am visually impaired and will be sharing with you strands of the rest of my life. I come to you from central Iowa, where I live with my four boys, my three cats, my dog who is behind me, <laughs> and my husband. And yeah, guys, I thought this was just so fitting that we're at episode 42, and this whole COVID thing has everything pretty much shut down still, so our keyword for today is don't panic, as you know, 42 is the answer to life, universe, and everything if you are a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy fan. And yeah, so I thought that was very fitting that this episode got to be titled Don't Panic uh, because we have so much panicking going on around us. I mean, I understand people that are, but from the words of a babe, <laughs> from my middle child, if I die, then I get to see God. And what's wrong with that? <laughs> you know, he really stumped me there because he had a point. You know, everyone's so worried about what's going to happen. And it's like, you know, if worse came to worse, then at least us as believers get to go see our maker. And, you know, it's, it's not so bad <laughs> when you think of it that way. When the solution to all this is, you know, if worse comes to worse, then we get to come out on the other side. So, you know, don't panic and just keep on crafting on, I guess. But anyways, so we'll get started. Um, did I even bring that? I did bring it over. Where did I put it? Of course, I cut off and then I find it right after I cut off. <laughs> so what I have for my finished object, let's see how close I can get this to you, <laughs> is the flower out of the Ghost Forest colorway, which was Jeremy's birthday socks. And I completed that. Yes, I still need to put gems in the center and mount it onto a clip of some sort. But that is my finished object. Very few finished objects this week. This episode should go fairly quickly. <laughs> um, as for my preemie project stuff, I have not gotten very far. I just I haven't been in it, and I don't. I need to get back to it. I I really need to start cranking stuff out because July is coming sooner, and with this virus outbreak. I assume there will be a, a lot of preemies, especially in the next couple months because the sooner they're born, it means the more help that they need on the way and the longer before they get to be out of the NICU and things. So I do have my preemie booty started. I don't remember how far I was in last week if I had anything going, uh, but I have the base of the cuff. I'm just adding on. Yes, on these cuffs, like I was going to title this episode um, crochet booties and everything to show you how to make these but let's face it I'm home with five other bodies in this house <laughs> and nothing extra has been getting done <laughs> so yeah um, like I've shown you before you just basically fold this and that's what makes your booty shape and when I get done with this part this part is just added on you just cut two yards of your color and um, I still need to finish that off. <laughs> and then you just kind of crochet back and forth on that and you skip some stitches in the toe and that's what makes your booty shape. Um, but yeah, I am not quite done with the white one which is terrible progress considering the fact they probably only take about an hour to two hours per booty to make. But oh well, <laughs> we're at least making some kind of progress. We'll get there. <sighs> and I still have not made a single other hat to go with my things. Uh, but as for socks go, I have the Night Bus colorway, which is a Bumblebee Acres yarn, which is one of the dyers that are heavily affected, because it's not just a one-person operation that does this, it's the whole family <laughs> does this as their main source of income. Um, but yeah, I've that it is kind of bunched up here and that's because I'm using my tail to count my rows <laughs> so I'm not pulling it straight because of that uh, but I am on row 16 of the foot body and I'll probably go for 30 or 33 
and if you don't remember from last week, I am actually doing this on my interchangeable needle set. I have gone down to the 1 instead of the 1.5, uh, just to see how much I like this better, and I have decided just to go with the, I was going to do this in the same as Jeremy socks, because this is technically his sock yarn, <laughs> but I decided that I would just do it the same as one of my pairs of socks and see how it differs. And basically the only thing that's going to change is we'll see how it fits in the foot. And if I need to make it longer, like the pair of socks that I made myself, it's very snug at 30 rounds for the uh, body of the foot. So I'm probably going to have to go up to about 35 or so to make this fit even for Jeremy because this will not have quite the height that it had on the size 1.5 needles. And as usual, I have a stitch marker from Becky, which is Funny Farm Crochet, and a my stitch marker from Knit and Pearl, which is another podcast, like I said before. <laughs> Not Knit and Pearl, Knit Pearl and Squirrel, just Knit and Pearl. <laughs> um, and that is, again, in a Crochet Cakes project bag, but she has not had project bags in her shop lately. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I was at the heel turn for that pair of socks and when it was my Saturday night Zoom chat. And so I did not, this is kind of ironic, <laughs> stitch markers I have on this, or at least the one. Um, I did not work on that during Saturday night, so I have this started because I didn't want to have to focus and risk having messing things up. Uh, so I have started in my autism awareness puzzle piece bag, which is the Silver Shed USA. I have my rainbow dashing colorway. This is socks for my husband. I am still on the cuff, which is, I think I'm on 40 of 52. And I have my Lego stitch marker on here, <laughs> which probably should be on Jeremy's socks, but it doesn't really matter. They're all for boys, right? And this is from one of the Fiber of the Month boxes from Paradise Fibers. This is on my normal 1.5 9-inch Chowgu circular. And I'm thinking, once I get done with this cuff, I might go look at the um, Hermione's Everyday Sock Pattern because I'm pretty sure that's still pretty basic. Uh, I just want to do something a little different, I think. Uh, not that you'll be able to see any of the textured pattern difference with this kind of crazy <laughs> uh, colored beautiful yarn. Did I say what color what? this was. This is Rainbow Dashing by Yarn Geek Fibers. And I was supposed to see her uh, this past weekend, but of course Fiber Palooza got cancelled. And so I am debating, because again, I think she might be one of the dyers that this is her main source of income, but I'm not exactly sure uh, what her circumstances. So I've been debating whether or not to just save up my money and buy a couple more things from her because she has a dolphin colorway guys <laughs> and I think that might have been in fiber but there was a colorway called dolphin karaoke and I'm like uh, now I need that I never saw that when I've seen her in person sorry about that guys I didn't think you wanted to hear shrieking um, but yeah she had a, a colorway that I'm very drawn to so We'll see if I order anything. I probably won't. I have enough to work through and as much as I need to support these people. At the same time, even though we're not directly financially uh, impacted by the virus thing, it does affect the fact that I need to work through some of the stash before I go out and buy things because I would like to buy, make more than just socks and therefore I would need to buy more than just one skein of a pretty colorway. <laughs> so we'll just see. Right now um, I'm just working on getting some of these socks done and I will be working on my preemie project stuff. I really need to get back into that. I just I don't know. I just have been super, super lazy, <laughs> I guess. <sighs> All right, friends, it's actually Monday, but since I haven't gotten the episode of Weekly Whip 42 up yet, I thought I'd come down here and work on this some more. So this is where I'm at currently with my spin, and we'll see if I can't finish it yet this month. But I still have 
that much to go, so it's quite a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where I'm at with my spinning. But yeah, guys, uh, what else do we have to talk about? Like I said, unlike everyone else who thinks that just because I'm stuck at home that now I have all this free time. <laughs> yeah, guys, no free time here. I've gone from three bodies most of the day in a... I don't remember what this upstairs area is. It's, I think, between 600 and 800 square feet. Uh, which isn't tiny, but when you've gone from three people to five people on most of the day and six people in the evenings, it's just, it, it's never dull or, you know, <laughs> uh, picked up. There's plenty that we can do. We do have a downstairs, and I would love to send uh, the bigs downstairs to mess around, but currently that's where my husband's working from home. So that's why he's only up here during the evenings. And yeah, it's just, I, I had a point yesterday where I just was like, I've had it. <laughs> it's been a little over a week and I'm done being locked up with them all day. And that's funny because yesterday we actually walked up to the mailbox. But you'll have to wait to see what was in my mailbox till Monday because it's our last Monday of the month. So we'll have to do our monthly mail day Monday. <laughs> our March monthly mail day Monday. We'll have a 4M month. <laughs> Uh, but yeah guys, I think we're going to have to cut it short because apparently Leo is beating something up in his bedroom. Um, and we'll talk to you guys next week. And if you liked this episode, I hope you hook the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later guys.